This is I'm Migrant Podcast with Robinson. Welcome everybody to the I'm Migrant Podcast. And today I have with me Christian Mason. Christian, welcome to the show. Oh, uh, thanks, uh, Robinson. Thank you very much for having me. Much appreciated. Christian, coming from Venezuela, please say a couple of words to the Latino community out there and the fellow Venezuelans. Bueno, este, este es un podcast para, para mostrar que uno como inmigrante puede eh, tener éxito y uh, llegar a, a, a diferentes etapas de en diferentes niveles de éxito y bueno eh, les digo a mis eh, compatriotas y latinos que de verdad eh, sí se puede sí se puede si uno cambia la mentalidad que tienen exactly thank you Christian so Christian you came from Venezuela to Canada how long ago well like, uh, it was uh, September 2005 exactly yeah, 2005, so 16 years ago. All 16 right. years ago, yeah, yeah. I and did came... you come here as a skilled worker? No, 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 no. Uh, I came here with uh, my girlfriend, okay, first, because well, with my girlfriend, we lived in, in Venezuela there okay. uh, for about uh, nine months, but she didn't like it, so yes, we <laughs> we ended up here. And, she and was Quebecois? Yeah, she was give a quote. Yeah. Very good. So you came here, you got married. Yeah. And, exactly. and all that process, all yeah. that interesting process. Yeah. And yeah, we're not exactly. going to get into that one for sure. <laughs> but you got here. I know that you were in sales back home. Yeah. And I also know that today you're in IT. Tell me about that process. When you landed here, did you speak both languages? Please expand on that. Well, first, first um, the first time I came here uh, uh, was because I, I wanted to learn uh, English. So okay. I came here and, well, I wanted to learn English, but uh, I choose uh, Montreal, which is odd because Montreal is not a place, a good place to, to learn English because right. everybody speaks French here. Uh, although there is an uh, English minority, but right. uh, everything was in French. So I was like, oh, come on, this is not uh, the, the right place. Right. So I, 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 I traveled to Ottawa. So there I start uh, learning learning uh, English in, right. uh, in Ottawa. I stayed there for six months and then I met my, my wife, my girlfriend. So I then... Uh, we started back and forward. Uh, you know, she went to Venezuela. She, I, I came here again, and then, uh, well, we decided to move here. I, I already said that. But yes, uh, the first time when I got my papers, everything, and then I land here in uh, in Montreal. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing is, you know. Yeah, I, I have to find a job or something. Well, uh, my background is uh, sales. Uh, I was a sales supervisor in a brewery company. I was selling beer. I was, you know, talking to uh, clients uh, and on-prem uh, bars, restaurants, etc. Right. And then, uh, how come I cannot sell here? Because uh, I don't speak language and the language is very hard. I mean, even though I was uh, studying French in uh, back, back home in Venezuela, uh, the language barrier was uh, a, a humongous, uh, uh, you know, it was big, big. It was huge, the, the, the gap in, in my, my language skill and the, 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 the the skills uh, to get into the sales um, uh, because I yeah, went and, and definitely to be in sales you have to ma master both languages yeah exactly here you, you have to master both languages because one if you if even in in, in basic sales okay right you go to a depanor and then you have to speak uh, maybe you find a, a guy that doesn't speak uh, uh, French so right. you have to switch to to English and then you have to be uh you have to have a, a good vocabulary correct and be fluent yes be nice to get the, the the sales done 
So then I have to well, work and I start working, you know, the immigrant jobs. I start working in, as an installer, Windows installer, but in the Windows, I'm talking about Windows, real Windows, okay, home Windows, uh, but not the, the real installer. I was the, you know, the, the helper. The, the oh, assistant. Yeah, okay. the assistant. And the, the the assistant of the helper. So, oh my I was, yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was it was hard, but at least uh, you know. To, to so you were just basically lifting the windows and passing the tools. Yeah, passing the tools and you know the nuts and bolts and you know the the dirty work. Yeah, the the clocking and stuff <laughs> like that. Okay. But yeah, yeah, I was the the guy that you know the heavy list lifting. You got some muscles after that. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, it was uh, really hard. Um, then uh, I decided to move to, you know, uh, something in, uh, in, in an office. I started working in a call center. Uh, but that, the shift that I got was the midnight shift. So night shift was right. from midnight until 8 o'clock. It was really, really hard because you have to switch yourself. So your biological clock changes, okay, totally changes. But it's not easy to make that change. So oh, no. It takes no. time. Yeah. And I was starting on, on Tuesday and then until Friday, and then I have to work Sundays. So that was my, my, my schedule, my first, my first time schedule. So after um, three months, I decided to well, ask for a change. Okay, okay, well, yeah, you can change. Well, you start at 6 o'clock, at 6 p.m. Until, yeah, maybe 2 a.m., 3 a.m. That was getting better. Yeah, getting better, but I have to wait until uh, 5 a.m. To, 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 to start getting uh, into the metro or uh, the public transportation. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, so it was the same. It was the same. So yeah, and then uh, one one day I click. I, I saw uh, uh, an advertisement of uh, IT. Okay, get it to uh, networking, okay? <laughs> like a Cisco thing. Yeah, I see. Well, I would like to do that. Yeah. Yeah, in Venezuela, I, I was, uh, yeah, I had a computer as a kid, like, uh, yeah, long time ago, but I know, I know computers. It's IT, it's easy, yeah. let's get it's, started. It's, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I applied, and then the the guy, the person who interviewed me says, um, well, okay, you are approved, but uh, this is the amount that you have to pay because we are a private school. Uh, it was an a AAC which is uh, Atestacion de Institut Colegial. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know what was that. So I, the only thing I wanted is to, it was get a, a something, okay, a diploma to get into the, the work market. Uh, then, yeah, it was a... What school did you go to for that? Uh, it was a ISI. ISI. Hmm. Institut Superior d'Informatique. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in uh, uh, Cremazie. Yeah, okay. it, was, uh, it was close. I was living in Papineau, right. close to Jacques Cartier. So there I started, but well, it was uh, a fair amount of money. It wasn't uh, two cents. It was a, like, a, a fair amount, okay? So I asked for the government for a prêt de bourse. So they approved me. Good. And then I start working. I start, sorry, I, I, I start uh, learning the networking. The IAC was called um, Telecommunications and Analyst, and Analyst, Analyst de Telecommunication, okay? All right, perfect. Uh, I didn't which, know is, which is a way for them to call engineers, but because in Quebec, you cannot be an engineer if you're not part of the order. Yeah, yeah, you call you it analyst. Yeah. So for those listening to the podcast, once you come here, any position that's really analyst in the States, it would be engineer. But again, yeah. you have to be a member of the order of engineers to be called an engineer here. Yeah, to be called an engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. Yeah. 
And I'm, uh, I'm telling you, yeah, you have to, any, any, any position that here they call expert in the, the States is uh, engineer, even right. in Ontario, in Ontario, you'd call, you're called an uh, engineer. Right now I'm a DevOps, okay, uh, DevOps engineer, but in Quebec, I have to, I have to put my, my, I have to write my, my position as a DevOps expert. Expert. I cannot put engineer because I'm not a, a member of the l'ordre des, ingen des ingenieurs. But anyways. So you finished that networking course, that telecom training, and yeah. then you found a job right away? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really? I found, yeah, I found a job. Yes. Yes. Okay. Tout de suite, like uh, in <laughs> French. Right okay. away. Yeah, right away. But uh, it was, uh, well, low payment. I think if, if you go to IDA, you got the same uh, hourly rate. But yeah, I said yes, because uh, I, need the, I needed the experience. I need to, you know, to get into the job market, into the workplace. So I started, it was a, a company, it was a, a consultant, okay? A consultant, okay. I, wa I was working for him and he placed me in different places uh, and charged for my job. So I was installing uh, firewalls, Fortinet. I was installing uh, open source firewalls like a uh, mono wall that, but, but that, that time. Right. Uh, now the mono wall is not longer maintained. Now is PF Sense and many forks like uh, PN Sense, but it's very strong. It's a free BSD based for those uh, familiar with the matter. And yeah, I was uh, installing uh, Cisco uh, switches, uh, but I didn't get any Cisco training. Although in the, in the course specification, they said, no, uh, yeah, Cisco routing, Cisco route and route and switching. Okay, but nothing. It was, it was nothing. It was only theory. Okay, so I didn't. No get labs, no the, nothing. No labs, no labs. Wow. I got, I got, I got into labs when I did the the CCNA in Champlain College. Okay, the AAC. And that was years after, though. Yeah, years after. Wow. So. I, I started installing uh, uh, HP switches. So um, at night, I was reading a lot. By the time uh, Google was there, but it wasn't as strong as now. Right. So books, documentation, and how to configure those switches, HP, uh, Netgear. Oh, yeah. So uh, whatever I, came your way. Yeah. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. So uh, then uh, one of the, of the clients offers me, okay, oh, you want to you wanna stay here with us and be the, the network admin, uh, cleaning guy, everything, okay, because it was doing even programming, okay. The know-it-all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, the, the handyman, the concierge, right. uh, <laughs> almost. Okay, but yeah, yeah, I start, um, they offer me uh, almost double in, in hourly rate. You so guys think yeah. about it? No, no, I <laughs> no, did not. of course I not. not. <laughs> I just say, well, where do I sign? And when do I start? Yeah, when do I start? And yeah, I started working there. And, and there, there, well, another thing is, was uh, that I started learning with the AAC and at the same time, I was learning French because I wanted to 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 be in the job market as fast as as I as I could. Right. So I was uh, I, I was doing a horrible mistake in writing. People, <laughs> you know, teachers were like, "Okay, uh, what are you trying to say in this phrase?" This is not I Spanish, Christian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not Spanish. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. And then, uh, well, I get I got my my AC finally, but um, uh, I, I I stay there uh, on the new my new job. I stay there for uh, almost uh, three years. Yes. In and the then, one that offered you double. 
The double, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, hired as a network technician, okay. Uh, but I start doing uh, programming. I start doing um, uh, system administration. Then uh, I decided to change and went to another job, another job as a uh, specialist informatic. Okay, that is a big name because I was the system administrator of that of that place. I was right. installing servers. I was installing uh, configuration. I was uh, networking as well, you know, supporting support, users, everything. Supporting users. And that was the hardest part when people called me for support you know, because my French was awful. And people say, oh, je te comprends pas. Donc, so, Just do your job. Don't, yeah. don't ask me anything. Okay, no. Listen, <laughs> send me an email. I will try to reply as fast as I can. That bad. Yeah, oh yeah, no, but there, I stayed there for five years and learning French because everybody it, it was uh, French, okay, mm -hmm. speaking French. And there I was, uh, I, I mastered my, my language skill. And, but it took me four years to start being really, really fluent in, in, in French. Once you were... In the job market itself. In the job market. Yeah, French is... Because that's, that's where the real practice happens. It's not yeah. really when you go to school, when you go through francisation. No. It's no. really when you start talking to the people and the users. Yes. Yeah, and you start, you know, getting the accent, getting the pronunciation, the good, uh, you know... Uh, le le joual, yeah. québécois. Yeah, and <laughs> understand them right, right away. And then... Uh, yeah, that was my 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 master degree in French. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Um, well, after that, uh, I decided to keep learning. So I went to Champlain College, and yeah, you know, okay, I called them, and everything was in English. Okay, but my English was standard, so I decided, okay, let's do this in English because I need to 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 be more fluent in English as well, because, you know, the job market in the U.S. and Canada, right. the other, the, the West, Canada, West Center, Ontario, there's a lot of uh, job postings and they speak English. Correct. So I went to Champlain College. I, I got my CCNA and then I applied for the CCNP. And then I continued. I continued to develop myself and I kept going. Um, I went even to get my deck. Correct. Rack. Okay. And yeah, here I am. I'm right now, I'm doing um, in the Polytechnique de Montréal. I'm doing my uh, certificate in uh, cybersecurity. Very good. Which ends uh, this autumn, next session. But yeah, yeah. We, uh, I will never stop learning. That's and you're sure. into cloud. Yes. Right. I'm into the cloud. I'm into not into the cloud i'm in the cloud business okay. very good and yes. how many certifications do you have in in cloud well uh for uh, gcp which is uh, google cloud computing uh, google cloud platform i got uh, four certification certs uh, it's very one good. is uh, architect another is data engineer and security as well and uh, developer association perfect so yes. basically once you started with that for your IT training and uh, analyst uh, telecommunication yeah you have never stopped learning in no. in the IT world in the IT field no right now I know you're doing pretty good again you're right there on on the most important thing right now which is the cloud everyone's going to the cloud everyone's talking about the cloud and you said that you're not planning to stop right now. And that's very good. That's something that all of us, especially immigrants, have to keep doing once we're here. And I would say master the language, but, and I've, I've said this a couple of times in giving all the podcasts, I've heard so many people going through this certificate in English and French. I do believe it does not add any value because Everybody here speaks both languages. 
focus on your field. If it's IT, if it's accounting, go to the university. Even if you have, as you said, a very bad French or a very bad English, start your program. Your language is going to get better. But at the same time, you're also going to get experience on your field. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If you go, if you go to the uni to university again, and then oh, uh, uh, I want to be uh, good at the language. Okay, I know. Well, I get my, I will go and get my English certificate. In my opinion, this is a waste of time and money, waste and money. Okay, because if you go directly, for example, if you are an accountant, okay, at it back home okay and you have your diploma in accounting go back to school in accounting then right. the language will will come as natural as your accounting skills correct yes it's the same it's the same right. it's a waste of time if you start oh no i, I want to be perfect in in, in french i want to be perfect in english nobody is perfect in any language everybody makes mistakes Oh, well, when God. it comes to writing, you know this. Even yeah. the, the Quebecois themselves are not good at writing. No, and no. That's their no. language. Yeah, so exactly. No one is really perfect at it. So, Christian, we come from Latin America, where you go to the university, you get a diploma in a certain field, and you think that you have to die being in that area. You graduated, now you have to die with that title with a yeah. diploma <laughs> going back to your story you were in sales and then here you said I, I have to start making money so you went through these random jobs and then you go hey you know I can do IT what do you recommend to those immigrants out there who come here with that mentality of oh my god I was in sales I want to be in sales but I don't speak the languages or I was an accountant and I just have to be an accountant here as well. What is the thought process of saying, you know what, now I have the opportunity to change. Maybe I have another passion. It's the time now to do it. What do you recommend? What's your advice? Well, in this case, uh, I would recommend to, yeah, the, the, here uh, there are lots of opportunities and people are, uh, are missing those opportunities. Even our, as, a, as an immigrant, people let go opportunities. Let's say, for example, okay, I was, uh, I was an engineer, for example. Uh, I was an engineer, uh, uh, oil engineer, okay? I was an industrial engineer. I, here in Canada, I have to be an uh, oil engineer because I was working in the oil field and the but it's not, it's, it's not that way. That's, that, that's not the way it works. You need to be first, you need to, be, to, to learn the language, learn their, their skills. And here, uh, the, the, the technical skills are very well paid. Yes. For, for starting positions. And when you get here and you get a technical position, you get money. And then you can go to university and get what you really want to do. Okay. Or not the university, just specialization. You can go and get a certification. AEC, a DEC. Yeah, DEC or, 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 or something very specific. Because there is no uh, DEC right now for machine learning. There is no DEC for artificial intelligence. If you do... I'm telling you, if you do a Coursera, okay, specialization, you get a job in, in machine learning, ML, AI. And I remember I asking you through LinkedIn, hey, how did you get started in cloud? And you sent me to Coursera, you said, like, I did this, this, and this, and I did it in this order. Just do it. Yeah. And you're right. It's just Coursera, an online training site that has been around for a long time for a and long time even before yeah. udemy or linkedin learning anything yeah. Coursera has been out there i would say for at least 15 years yeah. maybe more uh, so it's it's amazing that you say that we don't really have to go 
now to school because as you said there's not a deck for machine learning or for AI or for some of the new technologies out there but if you go to Coursera that's one yeah. of the different places Udemy LinkedIn learning yeah LinkedIn you tell learning. It, you can get a job because yeah. there's a need in the market exactly exactly and if you don't if you don't like for example uh, the 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 IT you can go and get Listen, uh, a good plumber here earns a lot of money, okay? A good electrician, technical, okay? Technician, in, in, in electric technician can have it, its own uh, company. Sometimes okay? they make a lot more money yeah. than we do. That, yeah, of course, of course. And they own their own time because normally they come up as independent contractors yeah independent they manage contractors. their own time they normally have their own company yeah, yeah. it's true um, it's true absolutely I, I know there is a lack of plumbers I, yeah. I know there's a lack of electricians at least in Quebec yeah but I would say in Canada so it's, um, it's really to change the mindset yeah when we come here yeah you need to change the mindset of that seeing um a plumber as a, a, a low level low level job this is not this is not true because if you are smart enough okay to get the job done as a plumber and then you start getting clients selling yourself as a plumber then you you can have your 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 assistant then you can manage you start managing like your clients Right. And then you can you can have more client if you have if you have more client you have to hire people and then all of a sudden you are the entrepreneur yes for okay. sure and like i remember i i called the plumber home because i had an issue with my sink mm -hmm. i tried to fix it myself but that didn't work out well okay yeah well, <laughs> you see there is a, a specialization exactly he came in i think he spent about an hour and a half, maybe two at home. When I asked him how much it was going to be, 450. You see? Boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> for two hours. Yeah. You see? And they, they, they charged you for travel. Yes. Okay. Uh, the gas, the, the fuel, and the time spent working. True. Yeah. yeah. So it's not, it's not like a... Like a, a plumber, like oh no, that's uh, that, that's uh, I, I don't want to do that job. Well, okay, don't do it, but try to find another another job. Like if you go, uh, for example, in the cloud business, okay, uh, there is a, a, a lack of uh, people that know clouds, and many all companies want to digital transformation, the data data analysis. Data analysis jobs are, well, like, like um, raindrops. Yes. Tons of them. But you need to, to, to be specialized. Let's get a, a, a programming. Let's do a, a Python course or any programming languages. And then you get a job because there is no, uh, there is a lack of, Specific, trained train people yes that do the job uh, for example data 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 lakes which is storage okay when you storage all the data there is a there, there's no nobody that knows that okay well i wow. say nobody because yeah the, the, there it's just are, a few yeah it's just a few it's like you know remember back in the days uh uh cisco ccie yes yeah i was like oh no that's the president of the united states and then comes ccie exactly <laughs> yeah. i remember that yeah and there's only like three in the whole world yeah in the whole world and, so and really there's only one in venezuela one yeah. in the Dominican republic yeah exactly so if you get that job man whoa <sighs> no but now it, everything's switched it is yeah it is. So you, you need to find what you really want to do, okay? But look for technical uh, skills. This is very important. Once you get in the job market, you, you can uh, start moving uh, in traversal, 
okay? Like going around and poking. But uh, first, you need to find a job, of course. Correct. My, my, my advice is switch that mentality that if you do a low-level job, you are not worth worthy. No, that's totally false. It's not part of this culture. It's yeah. part of our old our culture. culture. Yeah, yeah. But old not here. culture. Like, oh no, if you if you just clean houses, come on, you can clean houses and you can live a good life. Of course. If you start cleaning houses because you are an immigrant and then 10 years uh, af after you are still cleaning houses, there's something wrong, my friend. Yes. Okay? You need to... <laughs> Go further, okay. Move on. Okay. One use one thing, use one step of that ladder, yeah, to help you climb the next step. Exactly, don't stay stuck. No, don't exactly, don't say, don't say in the same place. Exactly, yeah, even that's good. I, I really appreciate that advice. I agree fully with it. We yeah. know each other, we yeah. know what we're doing, and, and yeah. that's that's our mindset. And we expect and hope that the older uh, immigrants listening to the podcast and even Canadians, right? Yeah, of course. Take this approach to always changing, to always learning, to always doing something new. Yeah. Because life is not stagnant. Life nope. is always changing, whether we want it or not. Yeah. So we better change it ourselves. <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. everything everything evolves okay? yeah correct correct christian thank you very much for your time and i would like you to close the podcast again in our own language reaching out to those out there inviting them in spanish to the podcast and to follow us in social media okay well that's uh, okay esto es para mí es, uh... Amigos latinos, ok, um, sigan el podcast, eh, por favor, cambiemos esa mentalidad que traemos de nuestros países, en la cual creemos que haciendo trabajos de técnicos o, o trabajos manuales eh, no, no valen la pena, y es todo lo contrario, por algo se tiene que empezar, uno tiene que empezar por el primer escalón, uno nunca puede llegar al escalón número 10 y aterrizar como un paracaidista. Exacto. Eh, les digo, bueno. Pues, sigamos el podcast de Robinson Reyes que está bien bueno <laughs> excelente, gracias Christian de nada everybody, thank you very much, until next time see you, thanks this was I'm Migrant Podcast with Robinson